All right, let's move on to World 1-7, one of my favorites because it introduces Fuzzy. Touch Fuzzy, get dizzy. Ah, such a nice song. Introduces these, like, Goombas, sort of. You can kick them around, you can eat them, you can spit them back out. They're pretty nifty little guys. In fact, you actually need them to get this, unless you want to throw an egg down there. You can kill enemies with them, you can kill each other with them. They're pretty nifty, so let's eat this one and kick this one down, take out those those guys right here. Ooh, this is the episode I thought, or this is the level I thought it was. If you look up there, it might be hard to tell on the video, but those are flashing eggs. These are the ones I did not mention before, because they only appear in very few levels. They will actually give you a red coin if you hit something with them. Or if you finish the level with them, they'll give you the red coins then, which is probably what I'm going to do. And here we have a watermelon, which you can spit watermelon seeds. Vertical and directions, you can jump and hover with them. They only last a certain amount of time, as you just clearly saw there. Whoops. We have both red eggs. We do. Okay, cool. Uh, and there's a key around here somewhere. It's fine. As long as we don't lose these red eggs, or these flashing eggs, we're fine. Where is the key, though? I know it's hidden somewhere. Like, I want to say I'm one of these, too. Oh. Pans up. So it's probably going to be in here. Or maybe not. I thought, there it is. So let's see what the mini game in here is going to be. Oh, this one's really fun and easy to break. So what'll happen is you grab more coins, blah blah blah, before the time reaches zero. But what you can do is you can actually jump off the top of these guys. Oh, he got that one. Uh, it makes it very easy because you can eat the coins and also... Ah, crap. I'm not showing it off very well. He's actually winning. But you can actually jump off the top of them, get a jump boost, and as long as you hit the jump button again, you can pretty much stay airborne. Oh god, we got it. <sighs> what I was saying is you can pretty much stay airborne up there the whole time, and as long as you keep jumping off the top of them and hitting the jump button, you can hover over and get every coin as they're coming out of the cannon. Did not show it off there because, you know, talking and this at the same time. Uh, yeah, a lot of times there will also be a random coin left over after the battle. You can usually just grab it with your tongue. And the item we get here is a question mark item, and I believe... I, I don't actually remember what that does. I think it gives you a specific set of items like more stars or a one-up or coins or something like that. I think it's really dependent on a random number or something. So let's get more of these eggs. Whoops. Did not mean to jump down here, but I guess I could show this off. Alright, so let's head on out. It's actually smarter to use the red eggs in case you, you know, lose them somehow or you forget that they're in the front. Now here we have Fuzzy and the, uh, the name of the game or the name of the level is Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy so if you touch them you will get dizzy. So let's do it. We're on drugs! We're on drugs! You can also try to eat them but they will have the same effect. And they throw some nice enemies in here like piranha plants to kind of screw you over. Although not right here. And his eyes get really wide. I love that. That is probably my favorite. That's a blinking egg. That's also a blinking egg. Yeah, and the, the ground warps against you. It only lasts for a certain amount of time, and you can potentially get through the whole game without having this um, status inflicted on you. But it is a little tough. So, ah, oh, there we go. We hit two in a row, because we're awesome. It slows down the music. It's just a whole sort of druggy thing here. None of these are red coins. Surprising. Huh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this without having to use an egg. Nope. That's a blinking egg. Also a blinking egg. Not a blinking egg. <laughs> Sometimes you can use the ground. 
take those guys out. Um, sometimes you can actually use the morphing ground to your advantage. Sometimes, though, it'll really screw you over. And I know I should just use these blinking eggs, but I do want to show that you can get the red coins at the end of the level just by crossing the gate. And here's another thing. Even with this egg, you might find yourself going all the way through the level without getting all the red coins. For example, let's see what we got here. We're missing... We're missing six? How are we missing six? We're missing six, and we have two in our pocket. The thing to do is actually to jump right there, and the remaining red coins should be in here somewhere. Uh, you want to get this guy out of the way, so sort of walk on top of the boulder. Wait, what did that even do? It just gave us an invisible thing. We didn't have to move the rock at all. We just... Oh, I guess maybe we do. Because it didn't seem to show up when I just walked over it. Oh, come on. Getting these rocks to move without pushing them is a little annoying. There we go. So let's hit this with a regular egg. I actually don't remember what's up here. I do remember, though, that you need to have this area to get the remaining red coins. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And there's some stars. And now we're only down two, which are the eggs in our inventory. Very well hidden. This was actually one of the very last ones I 100%ed. And we have this enemy over here, where if you do that, the petals will fall off. Otherwise, they'll shoot them all around the stage. So let's go ahead and finish this episode off and jump through. Also, you can ground pound these to go under them. Perfect. And we're on to the darker purple Yoshi. And we got the bonus challenge. In all honesty, I could do four episodes per... Or four levels per episode, but like I said, sometimes they're super long, so I'm gonna keep it down to two. Scratch and match. One up chance. Scratch three boxes. Uncover Mario's to gain one ups. Scratch on. Three toadies, zero up. One Mario, one up, two, two up, and three is five up. And I think there's a Kamek in here, which will end the game, too. And we got a toady. So let's see if we can get a Mario. We got another Toady here. My luck with this one's not too good either. And we got a Mario, so we got one up. This is a really cool, it's like a navy Yoshi, but it's like a dark purple. I don't know. Anyway, let's go on to the last area. The castle. Salvo the Slime's Castle. Two red coins up here. These things are pretty self-explanatory. If you stand on them for too long, you will fall through them. Salvo the Slug. Which one was Salvo the Slug? I don't really remember. Red coins placed in precarious positions. Those aren't red coins. Why did I even go for those? These two are, though. Ha ha ha. More lava to take us out. Ooh. We don't have any eggs, but that's why they give us this little path right here. And another red coin. Very tricky castle, but not really. I'm trying to... You have this guy who will spit water against you. He's annoying. And you have a ghost platform. Which you can ride to various parts of the area. For example, getting that flower, getting this flower, and I believe getting a third flower on the other side. So it doesn't seem like this castle's gonna take us very long. I'm only at 20 minutes of recording, and that's with the first episode. Which should be episode 5, maybe? Alright, come on, one more. Whoops. Sorry! Sorry, shy guy. Let's get out of here. We don't need a whole thing of eggs. We just need enough to get through here. Oh, we only needed one. 
And it's the castles really that take the most the most time in this game. There's one level that I'm thinking of that's gonna take forever. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Here we have um platforms. Well, they have spikes on them, and a new enemy here. We've seen we've battled him before. It is the bandit. He will actually take Mario. Here, take Mario. And it's your job to get him back. You can defeat them by ground pounding them or jumping on them, I believe, three times. And another thing, we have rotating platforms. If you jump on the side with the spikes, you will get hurt. It will not kill you, but it will hurt you. So just hit the correct color uh, switchy thing, and you can stand on them. There's red coins there. You really don't need to flip the red switch to, to get those. Wow, oh, that was a terrible shot. You could just throw an egg, or if you're brave enough, you could just get them yourself. So I'm, I'm just going to throw an egg. Ah, uh, eggs. So helpful in this game. Boo! Ha ha ha. What they want you to do is hit that with an egg, then hit it again from this side so you can actually make this jump. But we're cooler than that, and we're not going to do it. Oh, I guess maybe we kind of need to to get to the door. So let's hit it and get to the door. Is there anything else over here? No. Oh wait, how do we get the key? Oh, the red switch. We actually do have to hit this thing. I'm brilliant. Don't worry, guys. I'm brilliant. So it was kind of a waste. Whoa. Whoa. Waste of time. Showing that I could just... Why is my... I'm really... Ah. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just amazed at how terrible I'm doing at this game. Alright, so let's get the key out of the pot. And I believe it's already flipped the right way, so when we go down here, yeah. Three yellow coins and then two red coins. Hey, got all the red coins. Oh, this thing. Let me show you one real quick thing that I didn't know until looking it up. Uh, as a kid, I never knew how to get past this one castle. Not this one, but a different one. You can actually pick these things up and spit them back out. You can ride these. The brown ones will last forever. The blue ones will last a certain amount of time. We have not seen a blue one yet. And I don't know why they give us an extra ring down there. Is that everything? Oh, I guess that is everything. That was a short castle. Shorter than I remember. So let's head on in here and meet the area boss. Just like before, it's going to be a beefed up version of an enemy we have not seen yet. He's adorable. Hi there, cute little Yoshi. Does baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? I'll take him there in a hurry. Tee hee hee! And generally, the area bosses are harder than the mid-bosses. Generally. Sometimes, <laughs> much easier. This guy, what you have to do is you have to hit him with eggs. And each time you hit him with an egg, it'll go through him creating these little guys and also making him smaller. It's very... Wow. I was going to say, it's very difficult to get through this battle without taking a hit, but we totally did first shot he's pretty easy to take out but like I said sometimes he's difficult not to get hit by his little slimes if you run out of eggs slimes will start dropping from the ceiling as well so yeah and we're rewarded with a key to the next world look at that And unfortunately, we have two that we need to go back and do real quick. Um, don't know how I'm going to do that, but let's go to this little cutscene first. Yoshi blows up the castle. And leaves a little Yoshi flag. And then we move on to World 2. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get the two that I have so I can show you guys what happens when you get a hundred in all of them. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Um, actually, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this one out, and I'll just show the beginning of this one. So, see you guys in just a second when uh, we come back to this one. All right, here we go. Hundred points. I should probably do these at the end of the episodes that they're featured in, and I think that's what I'm going to do from this point on. So if you don't see the one from the previous episode, that's because I've already done it in that episode. Crap, we got a flip cards chance. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Give us something good. That's not good. Give us something better. Oh, that was better. Alright, so there's a hundred. And what's the other one we needed? Right, see you guys in just a second. Oh, wait, I should show the beginning off there. Ah, it's gonna be that one red coin. Yep, because it's a glowing red egg. Ah, oh, man. Who'd have thought? And I'm just going to go ahead and use it here. Perfect. Alright, see you guys at the end of the level. Alright. Let's hit that with an... I don't know how to do that, then. <laughs> Alright, so there's 100 there. So you'll now get to see what happens when we have all 100. Good. Did not want to go through another one of those. Ninety-nine to a hundred. Big increase. Stupid red coin. Anyway. So they should all flip on their own. Yep. When you get a perfect on each world, you will be rewarded with an extra stage. And a bonus stage. And we'll go over those later. Anyway. That's all for me. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.